So thank you very much, uh, Dinesh. Uh, thank you f uh, for uh, the invitation as well, and also the organization. It is a great uh, honor for us to be here. On the other hand, it is a great, um, or it was a great uh, uh, travel so far uh, with your um, uh, speeches so far uh, around Europe and uh, around the uh, world. Um, yeah, our um, our presentation for today is not uh, an academic one, but it is more personal for um, about our uh, studio or our, how how we are thinking about uh, the things uh, or about the uh, harnesses we are meeting uh, in the old days. So uh, for the first part, I would like to, uh, a short introduce about us. Uh, unfortunately, we are not eight, <laughs> we are only three. Uh, but yeah, we are uh, partly uh, working uh, in page. Uh, what is um, uh, the south part uh, of Hungary? Um, on one hand. On the other hand, uh, we are working in Kastai as well because Andres uh, is living there. Uh, what is uh, a town um, on the um, western shore uh, of the Lake Balaton? Um, those uh, two cities uh, we'll have mentioned as well uh, during our lecture. And also, yeah, we, we met um, uh, at the University of, uh, the university of Page. Uh, we learned there uh, the architecture mostly. Also, we learned uh, or studied in, in Germany and Spain. Uh, yeah, uh, and what was very important for us that uh, we, um, uh, we, um, uh, we took places um, or we, we uh, participated uh, in, um, in several camps uh, where we met with uh, folk, folk architectural um, buildings and we made uh, documentation of them during the uh, university. So yeah, it was a great uh, influence uh, for us. Um, and this, uh, in this uh, presentation, we would like to introduce you uh, two projects uh, from us. Uh, one was led uh, uh, by Andres, um, and the second one um, was led mostly by me, but uh, yeah, it is uh, more like a, a design project. And we would like to uh, show you what and how we can learn about the, uh, some vernacular uh, situations uh, or uh, some folk uh, influences. Um, so the first story um, and the, the main um, character of this uh, first story is uh, Lajos Ifi, uh, who was a, a priest. Actually, uh, he, he was born in, in Kesthely, uh, where Andres is uh, living now. And after that, he moved to Page uh, to, to study. And uh, after that, he moved to Fonyod, uh, where, he, um, where he was uh, the local priest. Uh, it was before the uh, Second World War. And uh, yeah, he was a very uh, important uh, man there. Uh, I mean, in Fonyod, he was uh, really an organizer of the society there, so, and it was very important for them. After that, after the war, um, a special situation came uh, between the church and the uh, uh, government, let's say. Um, and yeah, that was um, um, uh, a huge distance between them, and, and the church wanted to, to go back to the, to the kind of background. And uh, it wasn't uh, a good situation for uh, Lajos Ifi. That's why he, uh, he was um, uh, left the church and uh, went to a kind of hermit, uh, not so far from the Lake Balaton, uh, at the uh, St. George Hill, um, where he uh, found, uh, found um, uh, a good place uh, where he started to build actually, to build an own uh, property, let's say, with, uh, with a kind of uh, personal uh, chapel as well. Uh, but yeah, he would like uh, at that time uh, to, to go uh, absolutely in, in, a, in a background. And uh, what is an inter interesting thing, yeah, he wasn't an architect. 
he, he, but he was really influenced by the uh, folk architecture and the local architecture of the, of the Lake Balaton or around the Lake Balaton. And uh, he started to, to use those uh, elements, what he, what he saw anywhere, anytime, and uh, started to do those uh, buildings. So without plans, without uh, professional skills or knowledge, uh, he started uh, to do them. Uh, the uh, buildings uh, were the like building uh, with this uh, private chapel I mentioned, but uh, uh, there were several other uh, buildings like Nazareth and so on. Uh, and everything was uh, made by uh, his own two hands. Um, Unfortunately, uh, he, uh, he, he passed away in, uh, in 1967. Uh, on this picture, it is, uh, he's not uh, Laoshifi, he's a guest there, uh, because he never or almost never went down from this hill. Uh, he was lived there, but uh, many people um, uh, visited him. Also, he helped... Uh, uh, for people at the at the revolution of uh, 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 56 and so on, um, and after this um, this period, after 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 his life, um, the um, this this whole uh, property was going to um, uh, a woman who helped uh, him uh, up there for cleaning and so on. Um, and after that, um, this property was go to uh, many people. So now uh, there is uh, many owners. Um, uh, uh, so it belongs to many owners, and that's always a problem when uh, when a building has no owner uh, who can um, uh, maintain it, and so on. Then it. It, um, it, its condition goes down, and it is visible uh, those um, uh, pictures were uh, taken a few years ago. It was uh, in a really, really bad condition. My, some people knew about it um, uh, because uh, under this uh, place there are uh, very good wine cellars, uh, also hiking routes are in this uh, area, so people using uh, this, uh, this situation, but it was absolutely abandoned. Um, until um, Andres uh, uh, win a um, um, scholarship uh, of the uh, Hungarian uh, Academy of Arts and uh, started to care with this, uh, with this area, with this property and with all those uh, buildings. As I told you, there was no um, uh, no plans for the uh, for the buildings. That's why it was very important to make uh, documentation uh, first about it. Um, also sketches, also uh, manual um, uh, drawings, and also Andres used um, um, uh, more contemporary techniques as well. Um, here we can see uh, some ornaments and uh, very interesting uh, parts he used. Um, we can meet with those kind of ornaments also uh, around the, the Balaton. So those are the points where um, Lajos Ify uh, started to use the, the knowledge of the, of the folk architecture. Um, yeah, this is a um, uh, 3D um, point cloud uh, made by uh, drones. Um, yeah, it was a, a partly a goal to, to um, uh, reconstruction uh, those buildings, but um, mainly because of the um, owners um, and because of the lack of the, of the protection, it is not, um, not possible. So there is a lack of budget. So. Um, the only thing, the only goal uh, was about the proper property is doing uh, the documentations, um, uh, writing down the story of uh, of Lajos Ify, and yeah, learning about that. Um, yeah, this is um, a situation two years ago or more than two years ago. Um, 
and here we can see a site plan. So this is the Amos, uh, what was the, uh, the main building with the uh, tower um, uh, without, without um, um, uh, Bell. Uh, he wanted to, to do uh, or, or um, yeah, put a bell in it, but unfortunately he had no uh, possibility for that. Um, yeah, Nazareth, Nectar, uh, those were the uh, other buildings. Also, he cared with animals and, and, uh, and grape, uh, so he used it as a, as a farm, uh, especially this part. Um, and also those uh, really nice uh, drawings uh, were did by uh, Andres uh, to, to make the documentation. And it was a fortunate uh, situation that he, he uh, I mean, Andres uh, started to care with this uh, project in time uh, because unfortunately two years ago in a, in a winter, uh, this tower uh, fell down. Uh, so in the last moment, he, he made uh, all these um, uh, sketches and documentation and everything. We can see also some details. Um, they made uh, probably with, uh, with um, friends, uh, with art, uh, artistic friends, and, uh, and also collected from the, uh, from the local area. Um, but also Andres was uh, influenced by this, uh, those artistic situations and, and also about the, the whole uh, situation. Those uh, drawings are made by Andres. Um, yeah, actually, I can say uh, to you that uh, he felt really um, unwell when he cannot do uh, graphics like that, uh, like them. So it is the part of uh, of getting to know the situations and uh, and everything for for him. Um, and from the from those um, uh, graphics and paintings, he made uh, some um, exhibitions there. So to feeling uh, with life uh, for at least uh, one or two hours, um, the, um, the property and yeah, um, tourists and, and, and people uh, were uh, participated uh, in those um, occasions. Yeah, this is the um, remembering of the, of the tower, uh, the lack of it, and, uh, and how it was looked like after the uh, falling down. After it fell down, uh, um, there were new goals uh, for this project uh, to make something there what is um, what is visible, what is what is a remembering sign for the tourists or the hikers. Uh, they are going over uh, at, at uh, or around this uh, place. Um, so there were. Um, 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 a stone uh, um, cross, uh, but it wasn't uh, in the property, actually. It was in front of it. It was next to uh, this hiking, uh, hiker's route. Um, so he started to, to clean it and um, to make it as a nice uh, sign at the, at the uh, entrance of the, um, of, the, of the property. And... Uh, yeah, uh, a book was um, uh, was made about the whole story, also with uh, with uh, with the architectural drawings and uh, with the architectural um, um, documentation. And yeah, there are several um, uh, events for this uh, for this book uh, where local and uh, tourist people can uh, get know this whole story. Uh, with the model of the of the uh, for the uh, reconstructed um, uh, building, and finally, this uh, remembering uh, bench uh, was uh, made by Andres at uh, as a as a, as a closing or finishing element of uh, of uh, his internship, and also uh, as a as a final sign of the. Of the um, of the documentation, so uh, this door uh, uh, were under the uh, stones after fell down the tower, uh, so it was reused uh, for this project. 
uh, there was a lack of glass here, and yeah, it was a kind of bad um, uh, condition. And after that, Andres started to do um, or, or to, to over design and uh, to make a bench about it. Uh, this is the final uh, and existing, um, uh, let's say, sign. Um, this is the route that goes to the entrance, and next to it there is this bench with uh, many informations, and in this uh, hole um, an artist made uh, this uh, nice glass um, about the, or influenced by the, um, uh, by the, uh, property. Here we uh, gave you um, a short video uh, in two minutes what can show the, um, the situation in the winter, uh, what shows, I feel, uh, more clearly how it's situated uh, in, this, uh, in this hill and how um, it is, um, or how Lajos Ifi was collected uh, or from where he's collected uh, those elements uh, after he he worked um, uh, on this on those on those buildings so um, with this kind of um, uh, projects um, what Andres uh, did in this um, Saint, or at this uh, uh, Saint George Saint George Hill uh, we are learning a lot about the influence or how can we use the influence and uh, um, in many times we have um, situations then uh, where, where, where we have to um, have to see uh, behind the backgrounds and uh, and searching for the layers for the mental layers uh, behind the, the buildings uh, not only in case of uh, vernacular or or uh, or in, fo in folk uh, architectural uh, buildings. Um, so the next uh, project uh, we brought to you is, um, is not in a rural situation. Actually, it, is, uh, in a, it will be in a, in a kind of downtown. But um, I would like to present how we using um, those ideas, also what we, what we, uh, what uh, uh, Shifi uh, did so the collecting the patterns, uh, understanding the patterns, understanding the local society, and uh, and also uh, because of that the uh, the local architecture. So uh, now we are going to Shimontonia. It is a town not so far from here. It is not so far from the Lake Balaton. It is in the uh, in uh, the Tona County. Um, it is a re really historical one you know, quite uh, interesting uh, space. So this uh, river-like uh, um, um, element is the uh, Channel Shio, what is uh, the connection between the Lake Balaton and the uh, Danube River. Um, and yeah, on this uh, previous um, drawing from the 18th uh, century, um, we can see as an island. It is not true anymore. Uh, the channel is over there, uh, actually, and of course the uh, the landscape was really changed uh, during the uh, centuries. What we can see on this island uh, are three important uh, buildings. Uh, two of them are still existing. One is a Franciscan. Um, um, uh, Building uh, a church and um, and um, um, the building where the priest uh, uh, lived, monastery. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. The monastery and uh, also the um, uh, the castle of Simon. Uh, this is the uh, the castle of the of the of the city. And I, just three slides uh, about the previous uh, work, what, uh, on what we uh, worked together um, uh, with this Franciscan monastery. Uh, the project was uh, uh, consist um, um, an addition to this building. 
what is uh, quite weird because uh, of course this is a this is a really closed uh, uh, and compact uh, building and it is very weird to to make any additions uh, to it and uh, how we opened it uh, is to understand uh, the um, the on understanding the um, uh, the corridors or how the circulation was working in this building and we started to uh, to make a reflection on it with this zigzag uh, form and uh, and yeah it was the reaction what goes an open uh, uh, covered but open situation with this uh, zigzag into this uh, uh, this anterior corridor so that was our first um, um, uh, project uh, in Shimon Tornia uh, seven years ago and uh, from that time uh, we started to get you know, the local people, the local uh, society and here at this orthophoto we can see uh, that okay this island is not that huge as it was uh, in this uh, uh, 18th century drawing uh, here we can see the castle and here we can see the monastery uh, actually, this is the uh, major's office, and yeah, so this is the downtown of this uh, little um, uh, town. And now we have an ongoing project uh, to make um, um, uh, a building what can be a welcoming situation for the tourists, but it won't be um, a connection, a direct, a really direct connection to the uh, to the castle because it is in a really uh, really nice uh, circle situation um, and and uh, it would be very weird to connect any any way uh, to this building so uh, our purpose all was to to design something to here to this uh, uh, plot what is quite close to the uh, monastery as well and to the castle as well so it can be a good um, uh, let's say landing situations uh, uh, for, the, uh, for the tourists. Um, this is the view how we can see from this uh, plot uh, to, the, uh, to the tower of the castle, to the tower of, si tower of Simon. And we can see this uh, pattern, what was made by the um, pitch roofs. Um, and yeah, actually for me, it was um, a lot for first sight. Uh, how they are uh, collected together, what um, um, structure were built here. And uh, yeah, it was uh, one of the first uh, impression to continue this, uh, uh, this situation, even if it is not a... Um, yeah, yeah. Um, of, um, um, a folk situation, but, but still it is developed during the uh, centuries. Um, and also there are some um, interesting details uh, in this area. Um, this is uh, our proposal. On one hand, uh, it consists of patio, what ensure uh, um, a kind of uh, private situation. Uh, because the, the neighbor building is, um, is a family house, so it was really needed. So this kind of ancient uh, architectural tool uh, was used uh, to hear and form uh, the building. And uh, the color uh, was uh, an important uh, point as well uh, for us. Uh, today we already heard about uh, the importance of color from different aspects. Uh, now, in uh, this uh, project, uh, it was uh, the code of the, of the colors because um, the, the tower the, and, the, the, and the whole castle has um, a brickwork, uh, brickwork outlook and uh, because of that, somehow the public buildings were um, uh, colored, uh, its plaster were colored, like with this uh, Okay, it is not the correct color, but uh, like a reddish terracotta color. So we started to use this color uh, because of the because of this color code that uh, was uh, developed by the by the local people during the um, uh, during the years, and uh, a kind of um, um, yeah heavy structure were um, 
established or, or, or designed by us. Uh, this is a, sh a small um, exhibition space. What is uh, what entrance is from here, and this uh, wall is facing uh, onto the uh, direction of the of the castle, where will be um, uh, a picture about uh, um, a previous uh, situation of the of the castle. So it will be like a remembering. Um, and yeah, this will be uh, a place where tourists can um, um, can take a rest, and um, and um, after that they can uh, starting to get know uh, the downtown and the, the history of Shimon Tornia. Um, also, those um, those uh, frames, uh, negative frames, uh, what uh, we designed there. Uh, were influenced by the by the local architecture, and that's how we formed here uh, with using local patterns. Uh, but uh, still, the the purpose was to do um, um, uh, a contemporary uh, architecture here. Um, so that's this is how we are uh, learning from previous projects and and uh, try to use them in in the ongoing projects. So with this um, uh, visualization, I would like to thank you for your attention and your patience. And once again, thank you. Uh, we were invited. Thank you. Thank you.